Hi everybody, this is Sir Pia, back another day with a bunch of unboxing videos to do. So I don't even know where to start. So I'm gonna unbox something here and then cut to that. Let me start with this broken box that I have been staying home waiting for. Uh, for four days straight, no oh, five days actually. Uh, FedEx, that are probably the worst shipping company in the world, promised me that. Why do they pack it in a too small box? You see the box sticking out. The shoe box is longer than the box they shipped it in. And this is from, I think, asphalt. Uh, I don't know, but very bad shipping, very bad packaging. They are from a few. Uh, I bought a bunch of shoes last weekend and all from different places and they all were shipped and came different days. So these are the Nike Air Max 3, uh, not infrared, what do they call them now? Something instead of infrared. Yeah, I don't know, something instead of infrared. And of all of the shoes that I ordered last weekend, these were the ones that I wanted the most. Um, and you have seen a bunch of videos of these, so I can't do too much. I can't show you too much new. So what I was thinking is that I'm gonna show you the arch support, something that I have been missing, how to install them and what they are for. But a little bit about the shoes, of course. This package is from Asphalt Gold, and they have given me some, ah, Radiant Red. They are called Radiant Red. And uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that. Let me see what Asphalt Gold gave me. I think it's a poster. Ah, that's super cool. Uh, Air Max 3 with Porch, Lamborghini Diablo Ferrari, Testarossa. Oh man, that was super cool. Thanks for that, Asphalt Gold. Just because of this, I am a returning customer. This was super cool. I'm gonna get that framed. This shoe is what uh, most people know as the Air Max 90 uh, Infrared. And I, I always got a story to tell since I'm very old. I remember when they, these were released the first time. And I got them a couple of years after that. And when I was in, uh, still in school, but I was like, well, anyway, it was the year 2000. So I was... 18 years old. A friend of mine was working at, uh, at the shoe store and these were new on the shelf and I said oh the Air Max 3 I like those and he said no 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 that's the Air Max 90 and I know I'm pretty sure they are the Air Max 3 um, that looks exactly like them and he told me no 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 uh, the Air Max 3 were like this and these are like that and yada 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 so, okay, so they made a new one that looks very similar. Remember, back then, we weren't so hyped with sneakers on the, on, the, on, on the internet. But the thing is, these were called the Air Max 3 the first three years. So when they were first retro in the year 2000, then they were called Air Max 90 after they were released in 1990. So... Um, since then, people have been calling the Air Max 90. But when Nike released the Air Max Zero a couple of years ago, which is Tinker's edition of the Air Max 1, uh, yeah, so they called them the Air Max Zero. Then I thought they were going to bring back the old name, the Air Max 3, but they didn't. But now, 
when the shoe celebrates 30 years to bring it back. And I was a bit afraid that the color wasn't going to be red enough. And now when I see it live, it isn't red enough. I thought it was going to be like the black infrared uh, sixes. The, I don't remember what year these are from, but these are the pink infrared. And um, I was hoping they were going to be red like this. The last year I got these, these have been released a bunch, a bunch of times during uh, the years. The last time I got these wasn't so long ago, maybe eight years ago. I don't remember. I can put the dates in my, in my blog post when they have been released. Back then, I think that the gray was a little bit more gray and the red was red. And uh, so I can see some, some differences. These are supposed to be retromastered. They're supposed to be just like they were re released back in the days. That's why we have the, this is not a collector card, but I think we still call it a collector card. Yeah, and we have the arch support. And I have missed these. And I remember these being thicker and harder. But I'm going to show you what you're going to do with these. So um, this is a shoe that I think that everybody should be able to buy whenever. Because it is a classic shoe. A shoe that always looks good on everybody, I think. For me, I like it a lot because with the right colors, uh, it, it, it reminds me of the Nintendo 8-bit, the NES. I'm going to see if I can find any of the old pairs because this, what, 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 what did you call it? Radiant Red, I think. Um, I would like it to be a little bit more red. And I'm pretty sure that the old ones are more red. But... If they say this is the correct color, the correct retro master color, then I'm, I'm fine with that. It is a cool shoe that works with everything. Like what I'm having today, jeans, jacket, and a white t-shirt. It fits fine. Uh, on some of the sides, because I had to chase these down, they were not easy to get. Uh, I got a loss on sneakers and stuff and Nike. I got a loss on a bunch of sites. So I had to order them from a few that are a German company maybe, and Asphalt Gold that are a Dutch company maybe, I don't know. And I would like to double up on them, but these pair are going to my friend Kalle in Stockholm, and these are going to me, so I could might as well show you these instead, but hey, same, same. Um, so, on some of the sites, uh, the retailers said that they are a half size too small and um, you should go up half a size. And they very rarely do that. So when the retailers say go up half a size, then you should probably go up a full size. So I'm going to put them on and see what I think about them and then show you the arch support. And cool box, retro box. I think Nike did everything right with these. Um, what were the shoes that I unboxed yesterday? Yeah, the mids, the bread mids. Totally right with these. The fire red, because I bought them all the same weekend. The fire red fourth. I've heard people having some real problems with them. One guy in solo crew showed me right and left. And, and it looked like two completely different kind of shoes so I'm a US 12 with wide feet and I think during the days I've had these in smaller sizes because I don't remember having a size 12 when I had them the first time of course but yeah that's right I was supposed to find you an, an old pair I couldn't find an, an old pair of these per exactly these shoes but as you can see hmm, I see now on video that they look red but iPhones iPhones are never good with uh, with the color red but 
in real life they are more orange and they're supposed to be like these uh, and these are definitely more red yes this is the cork edition but it's a cork edition of the infrared so uh, sorry but on camera they look the same but they are really not it's completely two different shades in real life these are definitely more orange and these are red you can see here orange and red anyway the shoes still look good but they could be more red I would like them to be more red sort of they're kind of red at the look on camera but in real life they are orange my hang tag is loose which means that they have tried on the shoes in store maybe uh, these are not supposed to be loose I think during the years we have had another hang tag the flat one the flat plastic one I'm pretty sure about that but maybe this is the this is probably the correct retro one and uh, yeah it's not the same color I was thinking of trying on first but since the new arch supports are so weak and soft I can put it on right away and show you uh, a foot is never flat if it is flat like this there is something wrong with you a foot sort of goes up like that and my foot goes up like that so I can fit my whole hand underneath so that's why I have let me show you I have orthopedic arch support uh, which I can fit in very few shoes and that bugs me a lot so in some of the Air Jordan 6s I can fit them and that's about it no other shoe so you can see that this, this arch support that uh, helps me uh, get support under my foot even though it's angled like that it's more or less the same thing here so what you do if you have a flat foot you're just gonna push it downward so these are supposed to be like this you have a left on that one and a right on that one and you have uh, your tape dual tape put it on in the square right there and then on the, you turn it over you see it fits perfect there some people put them on the inside but that is super wrong so on underneath you see you have the square there as well yeah probably I should put it on the sole first but I think this will be fine as well I probably shouldn't do this before I have tried on the shoes since people say that they are a size uh, too small or a half a size too small but um, I know that I'm gonna need this arch support the old arch supports were much more much thicker and uh, I think in some shoes that have been sort of plastic uh, more plastic than, than these I think these that comes with these shoes are more just uh, used for the retro fun of it I don't think it will do any good actually uh, so it's used for a nostalgic feeling but I have missed them back in the days we used to get them in uh, in every runner shoe maybe not every but in a lot of runner shoes so and that's it and then in with the soles in the shoes again and uh, you will probably not feel any difference at all but now at least I have shown you how to install it all the other unboxing videos I've seen nobody have even talked about 
um, the R support. Well, they have mentioned that it comes with the shoes, but they haven't shown you how to install it. And now on foot. As I said, my feet are quite bad. So as you can see here, I can fit my whole hand underneath. And even though I got these orthopedic arch supports, they're still not good enough. So I will probably not feel any kind of difference uh, at all with these arch supports. That's why I didn't even bother to try them on without it. They are maybe a bit tight, but I haven't loosened the laces yet. I think that they feel great actually. I'm just gonna lose the laces and then it will feel perfect. I can feel the arch support and it is placed a little bit uh, longer forward than I would like them to be. I can feel them right there. I would like to have them back here. But I put them in the right place. You can't fail with that. But maybe if I would have tried them on before, I would uh, put them where I wanted to have them myself, according to my feet. Oh yeah, I like that. I hate tight sneakers. This is much better. Very nice. So there you have it, a very classic shoe, used as classic as a Ferrari Testarossa. Very comfortable, and uh, the arch support, as I said, I can feel it just slightly, and being a little bit too forward, uh, or too long forward, but uh, uh, it feels good, it feels super good. Um, and I wouldn't like to have them without, of course I would like to have them without the arch support, but I appreciate them, sending them with, and it feels, for me at least, better with them. The sizing, I wouldn't say that they are a half size too small. They are a bit tight for me, as all shoes are, uh, but the length is perfect. So there is no need to go down half a size. I don't think so. I'm happy to have them. They look great. And feel great. Could be a bit more red and I have very ugly socks on. But this is, for me, is a must in the collection. Uh, I don't even know if I have my old pairs left. Um, I'll probably don't because back then I just wore my shoes and when they were dirty actually not even worn out when they were dirty I just throw, throw them away so thanks for watching uh, there are more videos coming so please subscribe if you like stinker so if you like me just just subscribe comment like the thing that I saw on the few store box now that you have a pair of roundhouse kicker proof shoes you just need the matching action jeans. This is the Chuck Norris jeans that are stretch in the groin. These are a sort of uh, epic also. So that's a cool thing to have on a box.